Hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your most wealthy show making made easy tutor Oduro Mujibola and from the many demands I have concerning my last cover to men Sander I decide to show us how to fully create the patterns now I need you to know that in case you are not ready to go through the process of all this my measurement thing I have a pattern template for this particular design but for those who want to create themselves this is actually Actually for you in the first part I've showed us how to last and how to do all of that but here I just want to show us the full pattern cutting process now I need you to know that if you're watching my channel for the first time please subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so that each time I upload a video you will be notified and for those of us who are longing to ask questions you have so many questions and you will love it to be answered I want you to know that you can actually click the join button to support my channel to enjoy this benefit each of the sections available to for support you can actually you will find all of the benefits you stand to gain by joining or supporting my channel so I have so many so many of them right there there's a particular one that by the time you join you join you support that particular one you'll find out that you can easily enjoy all of my free patterns every pattern i produce on this channel you are going to have access to them for free just because you're supporting my channel some will have exclusive access to all the videos without or with or little or no editing just for you to see okay these are the mistakes she made this was how she corrected it and a lot more so i don't want you to limit yourself to just subscribing to my channel please support my channel by clicking the join button and let's all see how it goes now i need you to do something for me sit back and i'm gonna be right back so in today's tutorial we're going to be starting with the straps i've already taught in the first part of the cover toe part as in cover toe you know sander part and i've already taught us how i created this and this so today i'm going to basically be explaining to us how we're going to go about our strap and the positioning now it doesn't matter the size you are working with one thing that you need to pay attention to is the available length that you have here so whatever length you have is going to be the sole determinant of the width of the strap you are going to be inserting in between this middle center pattern so in respect of what i explained i want us to now look at it this way on the average at this particular point considering whatever in your measurement you intend to actually put a so let's say i'm using 1.5 it means at 1.5 this particular edge is in alignment with with um, my measuring my my ruler so it means let's say 1.5 here so when i'm by the time i punch i punch this way this way and this way or i stitch all around like this in case you would like to stitch yours so it means the available length that i have for the center pattern is going to be 11 centimeter so since i have 11 centimeter a now the strap that is going to be entering into the buckle will actually be my first consideration because i won't be i will not be able to do anything to that especially if i've already cut it so i'm going to place it right on it this way leaving about 0 0.5 from the edge at least don't forget i told us in the in the first part of this tutorial that you need to make sure that you leave a little bit excess on this side so if you left one about one centimeter you may be free to actually say you want to pick it, raise it up this way but with up 0 0.5 centimeter or 0 0.75 it's actually going to be fine that's so you, you you should not be positioning it like this it has to be like this so what i'm going to do now is it means um this is going to stop here this is what it means now if you look at what we have here and then let's look at what we have at the center left which is from here to here you can't do anything to this and you can't do anything to this so this will be the sole determinant of your strap width this is what i have 8.5 centimeter i'm sure you can see i have 8.5 centimeter from this point to this point is 8.5 so it means that 
whatever with my 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 rule my my strap has to have it has to fall in between my 8.5 centimeter now i have 8.5 centimeter there has to be distance between of course this place and the first strap there has to be distance between the first strap and the second strap now probably i'm working with a child a child um, size probably like size 26 i might not be able to insert two different strap here except i want the strap to be very you know not very wide and let me not say tiny not very wide so for what i have here let's assume i want to actually divide this into two for example i'm going to be having 4.25 centimeter don't forget that i need to create space in between them so you might need to first of all take away the space the the space the intervals you're going to be having now this is what i would suggest between between your your buckle strap which is entering this side and the strap make let there be at least at least i said please it can be more but at least is 0.5 centimeter so between this the, the strap between each strap have a mind to create a 0.5 centimeter difference so it means be, after this after this particular of course you are, let's say we have stitched this that this one down you can have like one centimeter difference from here to here please i am telling you this with respect to whatever size you are working with it has to be like that if you are working with a very small size you can make this 0.5 you understand and you also have to work with whatever you have as you know the, the available space in between that pattern so since we have one from here we have one centimeter so overall we have two centimeter has to be out of this 8.5 centimeter let's disregard the division i did initially so we have 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 and one so this is going to give us zero then this is going to be two so we have 2.0 centimeter because 5 plus 5 is 10 and we're going to be having zero our one is transferred to the side and we are having to so we are of course going to be doing arithmetic in shoe making as well so i have two centimeter out of this so if i deduct two centimeter from this i'm going to end up having 6.5 centimeter that is what it means am i right 8.5 yes i'm going to be i'm going to end up having 6.5 centimeter i hope we understand what i'm trying to say so from my 6.5 now i can now say 6.5 divided by 2 just for me to know what width i'm going to be using for my strap so for now it means i'm going to be having 3.25 centimeter so whatever the width of my strap is going to has to be it has to be it must not be wider than 3.25 centimeters so you can go ahead and then make use of your ruler my ruler is three centimeter i mean this particular one has a width of three centimeter So I told us it has the weight of three centimeters. By the time I finally cut it out, I won't cut on the line. I'll cut outside the line. It will still come back to my 3.25 centimeter. I am sure of that. But then you can decide to measure yours. It's all your choice. You can decide to measure 3.25. Now, let me show us what 3.25 is. From this place to this place is three. Now, this is 3.5. So your 3.25 is going to be between... The third calibration between the yes between the second calibration and the third calibration on this measure on this meter rule. So it means this is 3.1, this is 3.2, and this is 3.3. So it will be in between the two. That's where you have your 3.25. So I hope that explains how to calculate that. So I'm going to just go ahead and trim this out and then show us how you can now place. So, like I said. That by the time I cut and I cut outside the line, it's actually going to give me 3.25. And that is what I have 
right here 3.25 so i am going to arrange it in between this now now i told us that we are going to be having 0 0.5 centimeter so for our 0 0.5 centimeter difference i told us this is going to be one centimeter difference don't forget we are actually creating a co a cover to men sander you know design that's what we are trying to create i told us this will be one centimeter so let's say i try to draw this line i just want to use this to simplify it the same thing is applicable to any other design you want to create just divide it gently so i'm going to be having one that's what it means so it means the first my first trap i'm going to place it this way that's what it means so by the time you place this way position this position this there since the width of the center of this particular one is four it means this is the center the center is two now it now depends on you if you just want to open it up one maybe you just want to punch it 0 0.5 from the center please i need you to really see this now this is the center so from the center i me i measure the 0 0.5 centimeter and 0 0.5 centimeter so i'm going to point punch at this spot and also punch at this spot so i will come to the lower part too and see also because at the what i did i just punched this side i punch this side then i went to the lower part now this is what i mean since i know where i'm punching i place this i located the center again but this time around i started from the edge i used about 0 0.5 from the edge is 0 0.5 from the edge to punch so that it will be slant this way it will end up being slant and not straight if you want yours to be straight it can be straight as well so it's going to be like that and this also will be like that don't forget this is our point this is our point and this is this and this is this so after this particular first one don't forget we still have another is 0 0.5 so i told us in between those ones will be 0 0.5 go ahead and measure your 0 0.5 which is around here so so it means at this point also i'm going to also locate the center punch is 0 0.5 away from the center another is 0 0.5 away from the center and do the same thing i did here which is 0 0.5 from the edge so don't forget that this is actually going to be 0 0.5 from from our our buckle strap i told you the distance to be 0 0.5 so you can go ahead and measure that as well so at the end of the day i'm going to be showing us the fact that each strap will finally enter smoothly without any obstruction so this is going to be i think this what i measured here seems slant it looks slant so it's supposed to be straight so this is going to be 0 0.5 also from the edge 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 so this will go ahead and meet this and this will be coming down to meet this
so for this particular one now i've tried to open this out open this out i'm just going to slot this in i didn't put it from under like i said just slot it in see that it's even free can you see it's free can you see you are good to go can you see that so it means you even have enough space but i need you to be very careful you know one of the reasons why this is like this is because i did not follow the normal way i used to do it normally i will put it here and put it here then after positioning this one i always pick my point under the strap and not below just because it's below that's why it's like this i don't like my design looking like this i don't like space like this so please watch the part one so that you can see the way i actually the way that one looks like please when you position this one this way and you punch it when you want to you cover it up cover your what you have punched then you go and use under you see that you're already having plenty of space and i don't work like that i go ahead inside and punch it it's just because i want to explain to us how to go about all of this pattern so now you can see what i'm going to be having now this is it so let's start with this i've explained to us in the first part of the tutorial how to fix this part how to position it on your last so as long as you have positioned that appropriately i am 100 percent sure <laughs> that this side will not be a problem because all you need to do is just to follow the position of the strap you can see what i have you can see what i have so this is what you are going to be having the back pattern i have explained how to create the back pattern so please go and check the video on how to create back pattern if that one tends to be small for the size you are working it increase it by one centimeter each of the sides increase by one centimeter increase by 1.5 increase by two until it perfectly fits your back pattern that is how to work with patterns don't look for somebody to tell you what size to use don't wait for somebody to tell you if somebody said oh for children is two by two if you are working for somebody who is older than that child try and increase by 2.5 by 2.5 it's still not okay try and use a higher dimension don't wait for somebody to explain to you that oh this is what you should use there is no one way to creating design you have to come up with your own idea you can see what this looks like so whatever kind of strap you are using it depends on you you're going to insert it there and you have it even if you want to use this as a mole it's actually perfect just create another mini strap here and it holds the whole thing down and you have half shoe which is generally called mole this is simply simple even for an adult to work with now i told us it's the same thing with children just work in this same dimension and you will get a perfect result i hope with this you should be able to create your own pattern when it comes to positioning it on the last watch the first video and see how i explain how to position this as long as you have positioned this all other ones will fall in place it won't be a problem because you can see it yourself that is perfectly laying on your last so you use that to position this to position this one position this and position this as well and the back pattern will perfectly fit since you are making use of a last and if you are using a child's leg go ahead and insert the child's leg and use it to position the back pattern is as simple as that i need you to know that when it comes to youtube you have to watch over and over again for you to understand i've seen a lot of people come to my dm and start asking me questions please if you have a question ask under the youtube please i don't want you to come to my dm asking me questions about what i taught on youtube channel please i'm begging you having access i intentionally release access to me because i wanted us to be able to okay contact me if you want to learn more and not for you to come and say oh and this one that you did on youtube please 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 I, i'm sure we all understand that data is not fun in nigeria anywhere in the world so please i need you to join click if you are subscribed to my channel click the join button and and support my channel that is the best you can do for me support my channel and i have a lot of packages for each and every level so please go ahead 
click the join button and see what I have available for everyone. I have exclusive videos for a particular level. I have a one-on-one -on -one chat. I have so many things that I've arranged. I need you to support my channel. Don't just subscribe. Don't just think all you need to do is just to watch and leave. Please support this channel. As you subscribe, support, and let each and every one of us enjoy it and all of this video. I'm sure the person that, has, that was asking for me to complete this does not even, I'm sure she's not thinking or he is not even thinking of supporting my channel, but he's willing to see me do everything. Please, I receive a lot of video. I receive a lot of pictures. People asking me to create. Please support my channel and make it easy for me to do. Don't forget I have other businesses I have to do too. Yes, that is the truth. And if all I do is face what you ask me to do, how do you want me to survive in this business? So please, please, I indulge you. Please support my channel. Don't just subscribe. Don't just like. Don't limit it to that. Please support my channel. And um, I'm sure you are going to be getting the best out of every support you give to my channel. Thank you once again for joining me today. If you are watching for the first time, I am Odurole Mojibola, your most wealthy shoemaking made easy tutor. Thank you once again, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.